Hi, I'm Mel Christian, the Joker, and you can call me Bogart. And this is my intercultural journey. I was born in the 18th day of December 1998. From Alamino City, province of Pangasinan, the home of the famous Hundred Islands. My parents used to live in Malasik, a town 70.5 kilometers away from our current city. I was about three years old when my parents decided to move to Alamino City, Pangasinan for good. Way back 2002, my mom came back from abroad to start a small business. I used to live in Baguio City, the heart of Benguet, which is also part of Philippines. Philippines has different ethnic groups and has eight major dialects. These are Bicolano, Cebuano, Alongo, Lacano, Kapampangan, Pangasinans, Waray and Tagalog. I, myself can speak English, Tagalog, Ilocano, and Pangasinans. Since we live in Malasik, the first dialect that I learned is Pangasinans. In 2001, I can speak and understand it fluently. Then, when we move to Alaminos I have to learn how to speak Ilocano so I can understand them. The people in this city speak both Pangasinans and Ilocano. Now, I can speak Pangasinans and Ilocano fluently. Here's one phrase that I can teach you. How are you there? In Pangasinan, it's Kamusta Kila Ditan. And in Ilocano, it's Kamusta Kongay. It's almost the same but different in accent. I moved to Baguio City to study. Since I'm fluent in Ilocano, it's easy for me to adapt and have conversation with them. It was hard to live alone and away from my family. There are times that I want to go home because I miss them so much. My situation forbids me to visit them, and I can't help but to cry. But that experience helps me to become independent and be brave whatever difficulties I faced. During my stay in Baguio, I met different people with unique traditions. Learning new things help me to respect not just their dialect but their way of life as well. In our university, they describe me as the joker or clown of our class and that I am the happiest person they ever met. I have friends in Benguet who shared their traditions to me. When one of them got married, I was able to witness their wedding tradition. They called it Kanya. They butchered pigs as a sacrifice and feasted on. I love how amazing their culture is. One of the things that I will treasure is my relationship with my Baguio friends. They taught me other dialects like Kankanayi, Ibaloy and Kalangaya. The best experience that I learned through my friends is to respect each other's dialects and traditions. Thank you for watching. God bless, keep safe.